flat out appreciate what the Biden-Harris administration is doing regarding student loan forgiveness. Like any good tactician, they are reading the room. And frankly, they're reading the SCOTUS decision that flat out told them that any broad stroke student loan forgiveness will have to come through Congress. So, executive branch, have a seat. Biden is rightfully pivoting, and he's using the existing tools that are already available to him in order to forgive and provide immediate relief to Americans all across the country. And if you don't think that matters, just because it's not coming in the form of new legislation, frankly, you're missing it. Let me prove it to you. Now, I mentioned a good friend who woke up one morning just last month and got an unsolicited email with the subject line, your student loan debt has been forgiven, period. This woman had well over $70,000 of debt erased overnight. And aside from the obvious, she specifically appreciated the fact that when she goes out to buy a home, which she was already planning to do this year, now her debt to income ratio will be exponentially more favorable than before this move from our president. She will literally, y'all, be able to buy an entirely different kind of home, one with more space and with more equity, which will immediately put her on track to better establish both her personal wealth and, broadly speaking, help close this black wealth gap that we keep on talking so much about. We do want to do that still, right? Okay, right. And that brings me to my point. A few of our favorite blogs, Hollywood Unlocked, The Jasmine Brand, others, they have posted some true stories of this exact type of student loan forgiveness. And y'all, the comment sections are in shambles. I'm seeing everything from, it's too late, Biden, go to bed, you're old, to, we don't care, get Biden and Kamala out of there, y'all are all cap. Frankly, I'm just really confused. Didn't the culture say that we wanted student loan forgiveness? Didn't we say that that's what we demanded of this administration? Because the culture right now is literally getting thousands and sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars forgiven directly because of actions of Biden and Kamala and this administration. But now all of a sudden, y'all in the comments talking about it's too late and we don't care? Make it make sense. Because it can't be too late because, I don't know, forgiveness today does not increase your FICO score. It certainly does. So are you telling me that it's too late because the popular political narratives of the culture in this moment is that Biden and them ain't done nothing for black people? So we plan to stay home on our couches or go vote for Trump come November because, you know, Trump did give us a STEMI check? Knock it off. For real. And by the way, Biden also gave us a STEMI check. I digress. Just tell me you don't understand politics or civics without telling me you don't understand politics or civics. Just because your favorite radio favorites, yes, I'm talking about Charlemagne and them, say that Biden hadn't done nothing for us, you're going to rock with that so you can feel like a cool kid and a contrarian? Even when the facts, when the actual policy and impact show you and yours something very different? I'm going to just say some of y'all get the political leadership you deserve, and I'm going to leave it right there. But for the rest of us that actually believe in holding elected officials accountable for the policies that actually improve the state of black America... See, we got to stand in that and we got to stand in acknowledging, if not applauding, when Biden, Harris, Trump, anybody actually delivers on something we've demanded of them since inauguration. And y'all know I've had my doubts that this administration would do anything significant around student loan debt, especially when their initial efforts were overly broad and deemed unconstitutional. Those failed. But this is the kind of stuff I love being wrong about. This administration worked around it. For that, I salute them for their success. And I have to say this to the black electorate. Say what you mean and mean what you say, because come November 5th, know that it's not a game.